Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode 32 of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. In the previous episode, we started off by completing all six races in San Fierro. We completed, well, we uh, tested out the gambling in the casino. We completed the missions, uh, what is it? Fender Ketchup and Explosive Situation, and we finished off by picking up the um, additional health bonus by completing 12 levels of Vigilante. And as you've already seen beforehand, for the first 10 minutes of the video, we have done the boating school, which was obviously this one all the way up in the top left corner. Um, just this one over here, which was um, pretty easy. It only took me about half an hour or so, I think. I think probably the third and fourth ones are probably the most tricky out of the two, but out of the five, but um, it was pretty simple. Um, I've done quite a lot of off-screen stuff this time, uh, I've still got uh, bits more to do, but um, let me just quickly run through what I have done. First of all, you'll notice that CJ is changed, um, I've already done the oysters, so sex appeal no longer matters. Um, so I was just working on getting trophies, so I've got the... I uh, can't remember what the trophy's called. Uh, but it's about spending, I think it's I think it's metrosexual, I think it was. Um, let's just find it, yeah. Spend $6,969 uh, $6, on clothes, hair and tattoos. So you can see I've had a bit of an upgrade. Um, what else have I done? I also did freight train to take the train between cities, which was relatively easy. Um, so you can see I've had a bit of a change. Um, because we don't need to worry about sex appeal anymore because we've got all the oysters. I just thought I'd do something that looks pretty nice because I didn't really like the old costume to be honest, but I think this one looks a bit better. And for the freight train one, I went to the station that was in um, San Fierro, which is just the one that's across from our garage, so it's just this one here. Just waited for about two minutes and one turned up, got on the train, skipped over. Um, so I've done that one. And I've also maxed out the gambling skill, which is pretty easy. Uh, let me just show you my stats. Um, I think it's in this section. It might be at the, might be at the bottom down here. Yeah, gambling there at um, its maximum, and I've also put our progress with, in relationships back up to 100% across the board. I don't think it actually stays like I thought it did. Um, I thought it stayed at 100%. It might just be that it boosts your stats up that you'll always get um, the, the coffee, you know, you get the uh, sex bonus, basically. And they'll always accept you regardless of your sex appeal or how you appear and everything like that. But in terms of raising our gambling to the max, basically all I did was that you go to the highest table you can do in roulette and then just keep betting on something. It doesn't matter whether you win or you lose. Uh, if money's an issue, then I'd obviously recommend saving beforehand and then just going on a run and hopefully not burning out. But it just depends on the risk, really. And then whenever it notifies you that you can move up to the next board, do so and keep doing like that. Obviously, I'll just speed up the process, but I don't think, I think it took over 10 minutes, to be honest. So... It's relatively easy, uh, and I think that covers everything that I've done off screen. Um, obviously, the, the only other things I really need to work on is our flight skill, uh, which is nearly there. I think it's about four fifths of the way up, but obviously, that's just going to come to practice with flying planes and stuff like that. And then the weapon skills, which I can just work on in my own time, as well as a couple of other miscellaneous trophies. But anyway, I rambled on long enough. It's time for the first mission of this episode, which is you've had your chips. So let's go and see Woozy. Hit me. Are you sure, man? Yeah, I'm going for a five card hand. Come on. Okay. Here. I'm a stick. What you got? How would I know? You tell me. Not good, man. You got a uh, 47. Damn. You're bad luck for me, you know? When I play the other guys, I always win. Boss, take a look at these two chips. One's a fake. That's amazing. You didn't even touch them. No, I just took a guess. Why else would he come in with two chips and sound so worried? You take a look. Oh yeah, the dragon on this got the sunglasses and a white stick. Insolent bastards! I'll make sure the cashiers are extra vigilant. It's obvious where these chips are coming from. The Sindaco family owns a plastics factory across town. I'm gonna blow it to shit! Man, look, don't trip. I got you on this.
Okay, let's do it. Let's toss the factory units on the outskirts of town. You're going to disturb the operation. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to need a vehicle. If that's okay. I just thought it will take a taxi. Taxi, take me to the place where I belong. <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah, so I've also already finished the oysters, which is probably, like, almost definitely going to be in this episode as well. Uh, so that means I've got all 50 of them, which means that the only thing that I personally have yet to finish to the collectibles is the stunt jumps. Because we obviously finished off the horseshoes and the oysters now. Which is good. I mean, we can um, move on to... Well, we actually have two more girlfriends. I think both of them are in uh, Las Ventura as well. Seeing as it's the last place, it's kind of obvious. But they should be dead easy to blast through. So I think that'll either be the last thing that we do today or the first thing that we do in the next episode. But it's nothing to worry about at the moment. We've got two missions to work through before we get to that. But no, I think um, it was five, about ten minutes for boating school, and I think it's about three minutes of time devoted to the oysters. So just got to keep that in mind. That should be too bad. Okay, Did you buy your license? This <laughs> is the game isn't going to take me all the way across bloody town. Be great. Okay, this is problematic. Oh well. Hop the fence. Yeah, I think uh, CJ is looking a lot better in this outfit, to be honest. These mobsters have some guards watching the main goods entrance. Try and get into the factory unnoticed. We've still got our um, silencer, so. Could do this stealthily, which would be very nice. Um, Alright, let's see if we can get a way to get in there. We're going through this entrance. Hey, who's this character? He looks like a cop to me. We better go on the boss. Oh god. Into the factory quickly. Get the boys ready. Production lines gotta keep rolling. Somebody's got a fucking death wish if they're starting trouble around here. It's a miracle. Alright, fools. You think I got issues? Missing me. You're messing with the best. Wait, hang on. Oh, 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 oh never mind. Shoot at the guy, you're shooting at me. You got a problem with me. It's not the one, is it? This is the one down here, I think. Oh. Just you take your time, CJ. <laughs> Alright, I'm not doing so bad at the moment. Blow it up. Blow it up. Who got issues? Who got issues? Who got issues? There is an R S M G skill quite nicely, which is good. Or a gangster. Oh yeah. This is basically just how you do it. It's something that if something's destructible and you shoot and gun at gun at it, that's how you reach it. You raise your skills, so oh, that's probably just the method I'm gonna be using to match the rest. Good work, the job's done. Get back to Lee's casino in one piece. Okay. Hey. No you don't. I'm going to be taking this ride if that's cool with everybody. You might want to get out. <laughs> this is the guy in the back seat. Yeah, there you go. See ya. Yeah, yeah. Try your best. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad. Excuse me, fool. 
Excuse me. It was rather inappropriate. Okay, well. Unless the game's going to throw me another spanner in the works. I think we've just about got that. That's pretty nice. What is with these fools? Why can't they drive? I mean, it is me, it's crushing into everybody, but. You know. <laughs> what are you doing? This is my roads, bitch. You better get that memorised. I'm sure, yeah, I got one star in notoriety. Um, but it's not no biggie. No one seems to be messing with us. Should get there easily. It's a pretty interesting mission. I quite enjoyed it. Plus, we got a nice bump in our SMG skill through it. Which is always a positive. Hey! And I know we've still got um, a shooting range if we want to raise our pistol. Was it SM, uh, micro SMG? Shotgun and I think AK-47 is the last one. Hundred percent sure on that. Oh, don't jump in front of the car, you silly woman. All right. Of course. Where are you going? I it. Tell Woozy we'll be getting no more trouble with them counterfeit chips. Okay, well, there you go. That's the way to do it. Certainly. Oh. Alright, well, let's go ahead and speak to Woozy again. To start at the next mission, which is Don Peyote. Make a save beforehand. Um, so yeah, that's the one that we're saving over. Alright, good stuff. No, I don't want to save again, fool. Um, pick our weapons. Some markers outside this time. Fine. Alright, let's start it up. Hello? Who am I speaking to? It's CJ. Hey, Troop, is that you? Might be. Might be a government algorithm trying to pick your brain, so don't admit anything. Whatever, man. What's up? I need a favor, Carl. Thought I could cash in some karma chips. Your credit good? I took some fellow travelers deep into the desert on a peyote safari a few nights back. We faced the inner light and communed with the Lizard King. Sound fun. How'd it go? That's the problem. I don't know. I'm in Los Santos. I woke up in a Japanese bathhouse about an hour ago. I have no idea how I got here or where the others are. They're probably fine. I don't think so. They were Brits, a band, and their managers. They have no experience about the desert. Okay, where'd you make camp? I can go have a look. I took them up Arco del Oeste. Fantastic sunsets. Best start looking for them up there. Four Brits and their manager? Please tell me that's Love Fist and Ken Paul. Oh, please tell me it's Lufus and Ken Paul. I freaking love those guys. Um, Alright, first of all, I just want to pop over and stock up on some armor. Which there should be some under the, under the sign around here, I believe. Um, or am I wrong? I think I'm wrong. I'm in the wrong area, probably. Probably, knowing me. Ah, wait. There it is. Right. Hang on, I'm coming for your love fist. Don't worry. It, or at least it better be a love fist. I need some love fist in my life. Right, where are we going here? There's a bit of a distance there, aren't we? Alright, uh, I'm going to do a quick cut, guys, and I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, guys, we're here. Let's go and... Save that, boys. Hello? Hey, anybody out here? The truth sent me. Hey, over there. 
Hey, man, you all right? Fucking hell! I'm fucking hanging! Stone me, bloody crows. Oh, where am I? I don't know, mate. I was having a dream. I was wanking off with some fat bird's tits when this twat turned up. Macca, you fucking psycho. You did it again, didn't ya? That peyote was shite. You were lucky I brought some tabs along. I told you a million times not to put stuff in my fucking drink. Oh, piss off, kidder. Who are you again? Oh, I'm a friend of the truth. He said you guys might need a ride in the town or something. But I'm a fucking raspberry. You're not a fucking raspberry. I can't feel my legs, RP. I've wanked the use out of them. Just stand up, you soppy cunt. We go through this every weekend. Ow, woo. Man, what the hell was y'all doing last night? Anybody got a rag? Ah, <sighs> so where I'm taking y'all? I got a pal, Rosie. He's got some casino gig going down in Venturas. Sweet? All right. Fuck off, string. Oh, charming. All right, ladies, let's go. Come on, fucking northerners. Well, it felt like I couldn't feel him honest. <laughs> it freaking is. All right, boys, get in. No, Macker and Paul. And I know his name is not actually Kent. I know it is Paul, he's just from Kent. But, oh my god. I love these guys. I hope we meet the rest of Zulfist. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. Let's not drive so straight to the edge. the rest of the band, guys? Macca, where are the boys? I don't fucking know, do I? <laughs> I remember snakes. Lots of snakes. It's a snake farm not too far from here. We can go check it out. Ah, that's, that's, that's more like it. That is more like it. Need some more British representation in the game, oh, Rockstar. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, I think I'm gonna chuck. P, what you need is some food down your... <coughs> a fried egg sarnie with mayonnaise will sort it. Oh, oh. And what about a pickled egg? Oh, pull over now. Shit. <coughs> <laughs> I've got <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Paul. <laughs> that was funny. All right, <laughs> all right. Let's uh, we're at the snake farm. Something. Here we are. Look familiar? Looks just like Salford to me. What are you talking about? Take a gander at him, fellas. Is that him? That there city boy has gone and been with my prize hog. Now, I don't even get no sugar from her. And that one done screwed my sis. I had a terrible aching in my grinds ever since. I'm gonna slap you silly for giving me and my fella the red bumpies. What in tarnation? <laughs> I'm fixing to give you a whooping for what you gone and done to my young uns. Hey. That's a bit. Oh no, I'm not fine. Everybody in the car. <laughs> I don't even know when I know what those two have been up to. Where's um Where's the other lads though? Seems you boys had a good time. Hey, what about the band? We'll just have to pray they've made it to civilization. <laughs> People this and drummers are ten a penny anyway. Which casino is it? It's called Caligula's. It's on the strip somewhere, I think. Right, where are we going here? Um. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another quick cut, and of course, you all know that if there's any witty dialogue, oh, never mind. Big floppy sausage tits, empty saddle bags are bee stings. Rosie's a man! But stop touching yourself! It's just for comfort, Pablo! This is a stressful situation, man. You're fucking telling me it is. Ah, oh, can it, you two? Hey, he started it. <laughs> All right, this time, let's not trash the car. Yeah, that's, that's the way to do it. <laughs> not just landing on the top and then. Taking five hours to decide to leave the vehicle. 
meaning that it blew up in everybody's faces, because that's what San Andreas does to people. You can't decide what they want to do with their life. Okay. Let's drop our boys off at um, Caligula's and wrap up the mission, which I believe is everything that we have left to do, so be so good. And then that's where we'll edit in the lovely oyster collection and wrap up the episode, which is pretty cool. I see some idiots in my time, but you special. Hey. is. We're not going too far away now, surely. We're in the main city. Yeah, practically around the corner once we go off the main road. Let's head down this way. There it is. Here we are, at last. Come on then, let's go in and see Rosie. Kent Paul, here to see Rosie. Hey boss, there's somebody here to see you. Oh, go away. I have a migraine. Oh, hey, Rosie, son, it's me, Paolo. Oh, God. My despair is complete. Okay, let him in. Rosie, how are you, me old son? I pray that one day I can escape my perpetual torment and retire in peace and comfort a million miles away from anyone I've ever fucking known, and instead, I get this. Come on, it's me, Kent Poe. Well, hello, Paul. What a pleasant surprise. Who the hell are these guys? These are my boys, Maka and Carl. Sir. You are any speckled doves, boss? I'm peeking on one right now. Top of the range, <laughs> man. Well, it's fitting as I sit here up to my neck in a river of shit with every mafia gorilla from Liberty City to Los Santos pissing in my face that you, Kent Paul, should witness it. What's the matter, Sam? Too numerous, oppressively insurmountable, and depressingly fucking typical, even to mention. It's all right, bruv. Paolo can help. Give us some space, would you, son? I'll give you a tinkle later. All right, for sure. Not you, Macca. Oh, you twat. Unbelievable. Just when you thought things couldn't get any better. We got Ken Rosenberg hey, as well. I think I found a way to scope Caligula's casino without causing too much suspicion. We can talk later. Oh, what a beautiful mission. What a beautiful mission. <laughs> Very good. Alright guys, so this is the point where I'm going to ed edit in the final... Was it uh, 15 oysters that, we, that I've already picked up? But obviously you can now go and see. So I shall edit that in now and I shall see you guys at the end.
I got a phone call. Speak on it. All right, Cole. It's me, Paolo. Listen, Rose is in a tangle, and I think you're the geezer to sort it out for us, okay, sunshine? Slip around the office and see me, double quick. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate the opportunity. All right, now we got some um, more missions with Love Fist. Well, Ken Paul and Maka. I don't know if the other guys will turn up. But, all right, so let us make a save. Uh, so that one. Pretty good episode, I think. Um, let's have a look at our stats. Hopefully they're lovely and large now. So we are at 74.87%. Not so bad. So that is going to end it for today. In the next episode, we'll start up by dating the next girlfriend, which is Barbara Sternvart. I don't know. And we'll do some missions for um, Kent Paul and I'm assuming Ken Rosenberg as well. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys in episode 33. Everything Bye, guys. Changes.